What is up to all my little unicorns, new and old? It's your girl, Wes Any Ray, back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a vlog and I'm so excited to share with you guys what my daily life kind of looks like. I've been in Chicago since like January and I really don't recall doing like a day in the life type of vlog yet in this new location. So that is what we're going to do today. But first, I wanna start with some skincare. So for today's skincare, we're going to be using the Belief Moisture Bursting Eye Balm Set. This video is also sponsored by Belief, so I wanna thank them so much for showing the girl so much love. I'm such a fan already of the moisturizing eye balm, so I'm really excited to give this whole kit a try. I've heard really good things about it, and it's supposed to be super moisturizing for the skin, which is really great because it's already getting cold in Chicago, like 40 degree cold. Another thing that I really like about this brand is that they typically have a lot of kits available, so you could kind of try a whole entire routine before committing to the full-size product. And then of course, the kits do have full-size products in them as well. It's already a great value at $48 for the whole kit, but since Sephora is having their huge sale, they're going to be offering additional discounts. So starting on October 28th, VIB Rouge members can shop and get 20% off. Starting on October 31st, VIB members can shop and get 15% off. And if you're not a VIB member, that's also fine because you can sign up for the Beauty Insiders for free and get 10% off starting on November 4th. So either way, it's a really good price point and a really good way for you to try like a whole routine. But also if you want those additional savings or if you're thinking about getting one of these for somebody for the holidays, Really great gift because it works on all skin types and you can get that extra money off with the Sephora VIP sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So the first step is this Aqua Balm Cleanser. It's supposed to be really hydrating and really good at removing impurities and even makeup from your face. It's like this jelly consistency and they say you only need a penny size amount. So even though this is like a travel size or like a sample size, you can still get a lot of uses out of this bottle. That little amount is getting a really nice lather. I don't know, the color blue doesn't typically make make me think of like citrus but it has like a slightly citrus type of smell not like too overpowering or anything but it does smell kind of like citrus to me I don't know what I do know is that this company does not use any like synthetic fragrances or dyes or anything like that so I'm not afraid of what it's gonna actually do to my skin and my skin has been super stressed out because it's around that time so I really been needing something that is going to be gentle and hydrating in this wind. But child, my skin has literally been tripping. Like you see this and this and this and this and that and that, like, come on. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off and then I'm gonna do another wash because y'all know I double cleanse my skin every single time that I cleanse. All right, this is how my skin is looking right now. And then we're going in for round two. It's lathering up really nicely, but it's also not giving me that stripped feeling that you get sometimes when things lather a little bit too much. I gave my skin a second to dry down and it doesn't feel tight at all, so that's a great sign. Up next is the Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner. This is actually formulated with Baobab extract to help the skin retain moisture, and I'm going to apply it with this reusable bamboo cotton round. I kind of want to see what the consistency is like without. It doesn't get water, it doesn't get witch hazel, and it's not sticky. It's like picture water but like a little bit thicker and it honestly smells like if you put lychee inside of a skincare product so I'm gonna just use it on one of my reusable bamboo rounds and swipe in upwards motion so next I'm going to go in with the moisturizing eye balm y'all know I already love this product the consistency is top tier okay it's lightweight so that it doesn't feel heavy on the eyes and it's super, super moisturizing. And this stuff actually keeps your skin hydrated for up to 26 hours. And then last but not least, we're going in with the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I've been seeing this product all over TikTok and I have just been dying to try it. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on the face. And just like the eye cream, this also keeps your skin hydrated for up to 26 hours. This is how my skin looks now, nice and moisturized. And now we are ready for our day. So thanks again to Believe for sponsoring this video and sending me these amazing products to try out. I'll put all the information for these products in the description box below. And then of course, if you're into saving some extra money, make sure you shop that Sephora sale. You guys always ask me if I I still use the remedies that I've been putting y'all onto, and the answer is yes. Today we're doing red raspberry leaf tea. It's really iron rich, so it's good for women's health, and it's really good if you're having like cramps or anything like that. All you do is you take your little tea kettle, and then I'm pouring my alkaline water from my alkaline water filter in here. My mom gave me this tea kettle, and I love it so much because it heats up your water, 
in like 60 seconds. Now I got my little tea steeper. I love using tea steepers because it's a great alternative to tea bags. Tea bags in a lot of cases are really bad for you and even sometimes contain carcinogens in them, which is things that can cause cancer. So I typically like to opt for loose leaf teas and tea steepers. So I just like to open it up like this put it in the jar, scoop out some tea, and now you're ready for steeping. My apothecary is one of my favorite parts about my whole entire apartment. So now that my water is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in my little unicorn mug. And honestly, red raspberry leaf tea is so delicious that you don't really even need any type of sweetener, but I do like to use honey in mine. But some of the best honey for you is absolutely going to be Manuka honey. And if you are a person who has seasonal allergies, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you buying and using local honey because I heard that it's really good for helping, you know, diminish the symptoms of your seasonal allergies so that is something else to look into for y'all so I'm just going to mix that in and let it sit for a couple of minutes while my tea is steeping I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the gym because you guys said that you wanted to see what I do in the gym I wear this outfit every time I don't feel like going to the gym and it just puts me in the mood to go into the gym so I'm going to put on my favorite outfit and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and y'all are gonna know immediately why it's my favorite all right so here's the top right you see it you're you're getting to know and understand why i put this outfit on when i don't feel like going to the gym right the outfit just gives every time it just makes me feel like heading to the gym somebody said that they want to see dog mom content i don't know what exactly that means but here's the baby if y'all want to see him Oh, we got a new person entering the vlog how's it going let's get closer Let's get a little bit closer, man. I know we're watching the game and everything, but let's take a quick second to talk about marriage. Do you like being married to me? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, let's tell the people about it. What do we feel about marriage? Like, is marriage what you thought it was, or is it something different? Like, does it feel different than you thought it was gonna be? What did you think it was like before compared to what it is now? Like, let's really get into it. I'm not that type of guy. I think all people should let go of all expectations of what they think marriage is like and just take it as it comes and communicate with your partner how y'all want y'all marriage to work. Yeah. The idea that marriage is supposed to just be this thing that happens and this like package deal that's just kind of one size fits all, I actually feel like it can be quite detrimental because it takes the responsibility out of the couple to build the intimacy, to build the trust. When you just think that it's a package deal, it's almost like you're assuming that you don't have to do any work for it. And you do. Like, I feel like we've had conversations over the past few months. We've been married for only six months now or something? Six months. Oh, six months is coming. Six months is coming up. So our half anniversary is actually tomorrow. What are you going to get me? <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about it. Okay. <laughs> Great. I just feel like I know you at so much of a deeper level than I did before. And I feel like you know me at so much of a deeper level than before. Then I could have imagined that we would know each other. It's facts. People who know, I've been through a lot emotionally just through the past couple of years with like my mom and everything. And it's something that I deal with all the time. I feel like the way that you have learned to respond to me in those moments is completely different in a great way. Like, I feel like before it was harder to like separate the fact that I'm talking to you emotionally from what I actually need. But now I feel like you just automatically see it. You automatically pick up what I'm putting down. Right, because you know, when you first enter a relationship or even a marriage with a person, you might be stuck in, okay, well in these situations, I usually act this way. Mm -hmm. Or this is how I usually see, you know, certain situations mm -hmm. and you just have to shred yourself <laughs> shred yourself <laughs> of, of how you've handled these situations in the past to just interpret what your partner is yeah trying to say and yeah trying to you know what point they're trying to get across and it's something about the conversations man like after you have a certain understanding like this is for life for real not even just a marriage but Something about the conversations have gotten us to that point and I just appreciate it. And I thank you for allowing me to come into your 
football time. This man got football on his phone and on the TV. For what? I have no idea. But I thank you for allowing me to come into your you time and have this short little conversation with me and the little unicorns because I know they appreciate it too. Of course, always. Yeah. The man that makes it all happen, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. West Indy Gray. So our lease is actually coming up really, really quickly and we have to find out where we are going to live. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and then we could do a little like life update, chit chat vibe while I get ready to go on our coffee shop date. I actually know what I'm gonna wear. So today's outfit is going to be simple. It's going to be one of my classic go-to when it's kind of cold outfits. It'll just be this sweat set from Aritzia. This is from the TNA Cozy Fleece Collection and it is so, comfortable. I do not like wearing things that make me feel like a walking billboard. So I really love this set here. And then over top of it, I am going to wear this jacket that I made for my husband. It has all these patches on it. And then as far as fragrances, I'm going to douse my body in this. And then over top of that, I'm gonna use the Mugler Alien Goddess perfume. For earrings, we're just gonna do gold hoops. So I washed my face in the shower, but now I'm just repeating the toner and the moisturizing that I did earlier. Another fun fact about this belief moisturizing eye balm is that it actually looks so good under makeup. When I asked the question on Instagram of what you guys wanted to see in the vlog, somebody said a little chit chat life update segment about why you've been MIA, but your life is still in full motion. Life has really been going nonstop. Like we moved within three weeks of finding out that he got his new position, then his birthday, then the bachelorettes and bachelor parties, then it was my birthday, then we got married, then we had a lot of visitors in town because nobody wants to pass up the chance of really experiencing summertime shy. And then after that, we had the honeymoon and now I'm here and I'm just so glad to finally be having more time to like pour into you guys and pour into my channel. So, but honestly, there were a lot of other reasons too. Like at one point I was not in the best place about my grief. Um, for those of you who don't know, if this is your first video watching of me, my mom passed away and I have been very vocal about my journey because she literally told me, like we had the craziest relationship, but she literally told me that I was gonna have to help people through my experience. So I've been super vocal about my grief journey because of that. And yeah, that's why I'm sitting here talking about it now. So even though I've had a very particular understanding about my grief journey that still doesn't really change how intensely I am experiencing it because at the end of the day it's still a reality on this plane that I can't just cuddle with my mom just because I feel like it you know what I mean so I know the truth like she always used to say tell yourself the truth I know the truth of the matter I know that she lives in me and all around me I know that I am not alone. I know that, I know that. But sometimes girls get a little sad, you know what I'm saying? So first of all, if you can relate to this, I would highly suggest seeking out a therapist. There's nothing wrong with it. It actually just helps you add things to your toolbox that are gonna make you feel stronger and more prepared, just saying. So I had just kind of been going through that situation for a little bit and it was really, really, great for my relationship actually like nothing's all bad every time i go through something like that my husband really just confirms to me like why he's the best teammate that i've ever had in my life like he just amazes me every time and he's always so understanding never makes me feel bad literally takes care of me like if i'm having a day where i feel like i don't want to get out of bed 
that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna eat that day or that the house is gonna be dirty when I get back up. And I'm just so, so grateful for him. So this eyebrow is doing something weird, but it's feeling like a you problem. I'm not gonna pay attention to that. <laughs> so this is what the face is looking like so far. It's just a basic base. I think I wanna put on some eyeliner though. So yeah, part of the time I was doing spiritual, emotional, and mental work. The other part of the time I was actually doing work for my platforms. And then the other part of the time I was honestly having fun. And also even just the fact that we're moving again, like we knew that we were gonna move out of this place within a year or two when we moved here. We didn't know if it would be a year or two, but we're gonna move. We would just like something with more room. I have moved every single year besides one year, since the year 2015. That is seven years. So I'm kind of just tired of all the up and down and we're both ready to be somewhere that is more spacious. Although I love how the place looks and how like modern it is and how you know, industrial it looks. I feel like it kind of reflects on me too much. When people be like, you need to go touch grass. Like, I feel that, I really need to touch grass right now. I almost forgot the most important part. Also, let's take a moment for these under eyes and really the whole face, cause all I used was Believe products. I didn't even use a primer today and it's sitting, okay? We'd love to see it. All right, so what are we gonna do with this hair? So I put my hair in these two ponytails and I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, but part of me wants to do a little bang. Like part of me wants to do a little. You start with your hair in two ponytails. Some bobby pins, doesn't matter if it matches the color hair you have. Because why? Because we don't care. Even if you try to convince me that it matters, if in my mind I decide that it doesn't, my brain still stays in the state that it needs to stay in. In the happy, confident, feeling like that girl state that it needs to stay in. And that could be applied to so many things. Nothing that affects like a mass group of people. But when it comes to how you look and how you present yourself to the world and the things that you believe in, as long as you're acting out of kindness, forget what everybody else thinks, like. So this is what the outfit looks like. I love wearing this jacket, even though I made it specifically for him. I don't know, I love him, so I wanna be all up in his clothes at all times. Okay, so in the fashion of my real life, we're actually not gonna do what we said that we were gonna do in the beginning of the video. This literally happens to us all the time. We always make plans and then we always end up changing them at the last minute. Either way, it's fun, but still it's like, why do we even bother? <laughs> but the coffee shop that we wanted to go to is now closed. So we're actually gonna do like a little date night type of vibe here. We're gonna eat some leftovers. We're gonna figure out where we're going to live for the next year possibly two and then after that we are going to go to a comedy show so it's going to be kind of more of a date night vibe but first and foremost we have to figure out this living situation Okay, so we did it. We have a list of a top three places. So I, what was I gonna say? Um, I'm like freaking Dory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you be reading my mind. It's giving Dory from Finding Nemo. Anyway, so it's funny because as I'd be scrolling through a place and I'd be like thinking, oh, I could do this. Like, ah, oh, this is not too bad or whatever. Imran would literally be like, no, off the list off the list the guy is bougie maybe even a little bit bougier than me when it comes to living accommodations but i just feel so refreshed now that we got that out of the way and now we are about to go to this comedy show and then i'll just get back let you guys know if it was actually funny or not we have to leave like now so i will update you guys in a little bit So we're back home from the Laugh Factory. What'd you think about it? I thought it was dope. I, I thought it was fun. Um, saw a lot of different style of comedy. I agree, I'm tired. Usually we kind of like 
skip our weekend events <laughs> even if we plan them or we always end up changing them but i'm glad that this weekend we soldiered on and decided to go out anyway and we had a really good time it was a really cute date night yeah, it was a nice spot. yeah and i like the venue a lot too i think it's definitely somewhere where we would probably go like in the future i'm gonna get ready for bed wash my face and all that how about we do a little bit of skincare before we get out of here <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> Guess what, baby? We're about to see if this belief face wash really takes off makeup like it say it do. You guys ever have one of those faces that you do? Like one of those makeup looks where you just really don't want to wipe it off because it's just that good? This is that face for me. I don't know if it's because I applied that moisture bomb before I put on my makeup, but I just feel like the face is sitting the way that it's supposed to sit. So again, we are going to be going in with the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. First, I'm gonna tie my hair back a little bit. Now I'm going to wipe my face and then get a good lather with this and see how it takes off my makeup. Again, this look was just giving. I'm so sad <laughs> to wash it down the drain. I'm going to actually use a penny size amount right now. Let's see if we can get this done in literally two washes, like a double wash. That makeup is coming off, y'all. Let's see if it gets the eyes off too. Y'all will be able to see it better than I can. Okay, after one wash, it's almost completely off of my face. Like, I only have a few remnants around my eyes, which is typically the hardest part of my makeup to wash off, but that did a pretty solid job with just one wash. And like I said earlier, I always double wash my face, no matter what. Even if I'm just waking up, I'm always going to be double washing them. Wow. I must say, I am impressed with that. Now I'm just gonna hop in the shower real quick before I finish my skincare routine and get my hair together for the night. Now that I'm out of the shower, we're doing the Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner again on another bamboo round. Going in with the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm again. Next, I'm going in with my actives. While my actives dry down, I'm gonna spray my hair. Typically, I would use my lock tonic, but I'm all out of that. I have to make some more. So tonight, I'm just going to use rose water for my hair. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. So I'm just distributing this all around my scalp. Mr. West Indy Ray actually does scalp massages for me every night. So of course I like to apply some hair oil or some scalp oil first so that I can get the optimum results out of these scalp massages that I get. And when I tell y'all he gives the best scalp massages, I fall asleep to them literally every night. And now for the last step, we're going in with the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm again. And we're just using a little bit, especially now that I know that it looks so good under makeup. <laughs> I don't want to like waste this away. And this stuff just adds such a nice natural glow. I mean, you can see it. Like, I don't even have to say that. You guys can actually see this. Now just adding some lip moisturizer so I'm not looking crusty in the morning. Here's what the skin looks like to finish up the night. So that is it for today's vlog. That is it for today's skincare. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you so much again to Belief for sending me these awesome products and for also sponsoring this video. You're definitely gonna wanna try these products, especially under your makeup is what I'm finding out today. So as usual, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much. Make sure you leave a little unicorn in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.